Tottenham Hotspur have completed the signing of Emmanuel Adebayor from defending Premier League champions Manchester City. The Togo forward was on loan at White Hart Lane last season and scored 17 goals for the London side. A deal between the two clubs had been reached last month, but he's believed to have broke down over Adebayor's wage demands. But the 28-year-old is clearly happy to have secured the permanent move and after the deal went through, he tweeted, I'm back, Tottenham, here I come. I'm hungry for goals, get ready. Another player who looks set to leave City is winger Adam Johnson, with Liverpool, Sunderland and Tottenham all interested. Sunderland are the only one of the three yet to have put in a bid for the 25-year-old. It appears he favours a move back to his native northeast as he looks to secure regular football this season. The England international made only 10 starts in the Premier League last term and didn't feature in City's win over Southampton on Sunday. City are looking to bring players in, however. They're looking to add Scott Sinclair to their ranks, with the striker opting not to renew his contract at Swansea. Swansea's first-team coach Alan Curtis has been quoted in the British media, saying that it's just a matter of time before a deal between the two clubs is reached. Sinclair scored eight league goals last season and also came off the bench to get the last in Swansea's 5-0 win over QPR in their season opener on Saturday. Meanwhile, Cross City rivals United have followed up their high-profile signing of Robin van Persie last week with another Netherlands international. Defender Alexander Butner joins Alex Ferguson's men from Eredivisie side Vitesse Arnhem on a five-year deal. The 23-year-old made 119 appearances in four years at Arnhem and was also part of the Netherlands' preliminary squad for Euro 2012. Ferguson described Butner as one of the best young left backs in Europe. Elsewhere, QPR midfielder Joey Barton's season-long loan move to Ligue 1 club Marseille is also close to being finalised. Barton has served one game of a 12-match ban for violent conduct in QPR's final fixture of last season against City. Representatives from Marseille are in London to continue talks with the club, who want midfielder Stefan Mbia as part of the deal.